The heuristic evaluation was first introduced by Jacob Nelson and Rolf Mollich in 1990. In their method, a number of guidelines are used to evaluate the system. In a session or a group of sessions conducted by a group of evaluators or experts, these guidelines act like a rule of thumbs which can identify the common usability problems in the design. The heuristic evaluation criteria. While you can determine the heuristic criteria, there is a generic list that can help you determine the criteria that can be used by the evaluators. Visibility of the system status. The design should always keep users informed about what is going on through appropriate feedback within a reasonable amount of time. Match between system and the real world. The design should speak the user language. Use words, phrases, and concepts familiar to the user. Consistency and standards. Users should not have to wonder whether different words, situation, or action mean the same thing. User control and freedom. Users often perform actions by mistake. They need to clearly market emergency exit to leave the unwanted action. Error prevention. Good error messages are important, but the best design carefully prevents problems from occurring in the first place. Recognizing rather than recall. Minimize the user memory cued by making elements, actions, and options visible. The user should not have to remember information from one part of the interface to another. Flexibility and efficiency of use. Shortcuts. Hidden from the novice user. May speed up the interaction for the expert user. Aesthetics and minimalist design. Interface should not contain information which is irrelevant or rarely needed. Help users recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. Error messages should be expressed in plain language. No error codes. Help and documentation. It's best if the system doesn't need any additional explanation. However, it may be necessary to provide documentation to help users understand how to complete their tasks. Please follow the article URL below the video for more details about preparing for the heuristic evaluation. In this example, we will explore how to apply the heuristic evaluation on the PPC by site and see how the 10 criteria are used. Visibility of the system status refers to keeping the user informed about the system, the current status, or any changes. The alerts at the top of the page provides updated information for the user. The picks of the week also informs the user about added resources. The icons and symbols represent the match between the system and the real world elements. The backpack and lunch represents the parents section. The teacher section is visualized with the illustration of a notebook and coffee. The consistency and standards are represented in the whole design elements and structure. The links related to the entire BBC website is allocated in the top menu, while the links related to the education website is located under the logo. The layout of each learning section, i.e. the learning and revised, extra resources, and key S3 biology has the same design style. 
the user control and freedom crack factor allows the user to identify where they are and return to the current path quickly. This factor is represented in the top menu, enabling the user to navigate between different website sections. Error prevention factor may not be applicable on this page. As the error isn't likely to happen, the user interacts with the web page by clicking into the links only. Recognize rather than recall is applied to different colors to differentiate the content, such as the primary, secondary, and post-16 content. Also, background colors are used to separate the sections such as case 3, biology, and regenerators. All bit site link reflects flexibility and efficiency, allowing the user to directly find links instead of using the links on each page. If the user know the website content, they can jump to the content needed through the sitemap page. The aesthetic and a minimalist design appears on the layout. Colors fonts and icons. The design layout is clear and easy to understand and navigate. The colors are used to separate sections and identify each part of the website. The following criterion is helping the user to recognize, diagnose, and recover from errors. This factor applies to having the navigation system available for users to easily return to the home page. The final criterion is help and documentation. The system provides help for the users how they can use it. The above quick overview provides a brief about using the heuristic evaluation criteria to assess a system. Evaluators can rate each of the above factors based on a scale from 1 to 10. You can use the heuristic evaluation template available in the article URL and the video description. Finally, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please add them in the comments area and I will answer them.